this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Good morning, young ones. It is great to have you with us. How many of you have a best friend? Sam, who's your best friend? Mackenzie? Good. Zayden, do you have a best friend? Well, what, what's his or her name? You have a lot. You have to pick one. It's hard to say, okay, he doesn't want to pick one. Yes, Audrey. Yeah, who, 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 who do you have? Gabby. Gabby's a good friend, yeah. Well, it's good. Friends are a blessing from God. They are. And having a best friend is fantastic. Have you ever seen those, those uh, necklaces? And it's like a heart that breaks in half. And the one side says, uh, best friend, and the other side says, forever. And then like you, you share it with... with with, with your best friend, sometimes there's like a dolphin on one side and a dolphin in the other half. The dolphin's there. When it comes together, it makes a dolphin. Yeah, or, but I'm, you, you wouldn't go with, with the dolphin one if you wanted to do that with your best friend, probably. Maybe like a baseball bat or something in a ball. Oh, on the other side? Nice, yeah. That's a great example, yes. All right, well... And I, I don't want to push this thought. It's going to happen at some point in your life. I pray not, but at some point, Mackenzie or Gabby might betray you. Maybe. I, I, I don't know that, but that's, I think everybody in this room has had a friend be, betray them at some point. And, and, and it hurts. But what I'm here to tell you is that you always have a perfect friend in Jesus. And maybe you don't even think about that a lot. But what I'm trying to get you young ones to think about is how do you and Jesus get along? Like, do you kind of keep him at arm's length where you don't want him to get too close, otherwise he might know exactly what you're doing? Or do you share with him your lunch as you thank him for your food? Do you take him along to your test and you ask for his blessing? Does your head hit the pillow and you say, Jesus, keep me safe this night? When you go to your soccer game, do you ask him that he would keep everybody safe in the field and that you would have a fun game? It, that carries through your life. And as you keep Jesus as your best friend, I can promise you he will never betray you. He will always be by your side and he always keeps his promises. And friends, we talked about that in our early Bible class, friends are a blessing and we need them. And if you look around in church, this is where you can find some really good friends. So take advantage of that, but I want to thank our Heavenly Father for giving us a really good friend in Jesus. So let's fold our hands and pray. Dear Jesus, you are our best friend. Nothing can ever separate that. Please give us friends in this world because we need them too. Help us to always lean on you because you never break your promises. Amen. Excuse to go to your Sunday school class.